within myself, I'm not there yet. So like I'm battling, like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm like trying to, I don't want to be involved in certain things that I was involved in before, but I still am. But so it's like, it was a battle, like, and, and I didn't know how to deal with that myself apart from write about it and speak about it in my music. Our sponsors for the perspective, Fireway Pizza are offering you guys 20% off using our discount code AD20. Use it today, man. Save money, be patterned. We got you. AD20, Fireway Pizza, the perspective. I want to say good afternoon to my bro RV. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? You good? Yeah, you had your birthday, was it December? Yeah, 8th still. Big man, thing, you know. 30 now, still. Serious. I you up, we're not going to say that, but I actually bumped into you on your birthday still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel like? Being 30 now, like, is it significant to you? It is still. Not like, not like how everything, everyone makes it out to be. But for me personally, it is. Not because, oh yeah, I'm 30 and I'm getting old. I just feel like it's a new chapter. Certain things happen in my 20s that I can leave behind. I feel like it's a proper fresh start now. You know what I'm saying? It sounds cliche, but like, do a lot of the men um, actually view life past 30 sometimes in the end? Because a lot of people, did it make it to that age? Um, I don't know, you know. I can only speak for myself. Certain situations that, you know what I'm saying? I would like to think so. I've had certain conversations with certain people, but I can't say, like, everybody for the man them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, things happen. People might be thinking that at one point, and then people around them start, start dying or going to jail or whatever. So now it's like... You don't know. You don't know the odds for yourself. So until you actually get out of it and feel like, right, cool, do you know what? I can have a clean run now. That's when you can start planning for the future, looking into the future. You know what I'm saying? In total, like, how many years were you in jail? Was it, is it like four years in total? Was in total, five. Five, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's five years in your 20s? Yeah. Well, I went to jail when I was 18, innit? But I had my 21st birthday in jail. 20, a couple of other birthdays, and yeah. Do you ever feel like you're playing catch up because of the time you have to sit down? I feel like I'm playing catch up, not necessarily for the time that I missed, but like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like people have an advantage. Do you know what I'm saying? But obviously, I, it's, I've been out of jail now, coming up to, I think, five years now, actually. I think it's five years now, still. What, what, what do you mean by advantage? What advantage would they have had? It's just like being on the roads. Do you know what I'm saying? I was having a conversation with someone the other day about like being in jail. Like the people in jail that are in jail and they're doing their thing, yeah? Making money or whatever, or making progress in their career, or whatever, but it doesn't beat being on the roads. There's, just, there's only so much you can do on jail, you know what I'm saying? It's like being on the roads, being out here, I feel like people are like five years ahead of me, or they should be. Do you know what I'm saying? There's even some people that I'm at a better stage in life right now, but I still feel like they've had an advantage over me. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's a, a L on their part. But just for me personally, I feel like, yeah, wherever I'm at now, I still feel like I'm five years behind. Do you know what I'm saying? I could have been, if I had those five years, I could have been, but it's a coulda, shoulda, woulda thing. You know what I'm saying? So we just move. The, the, the cliche thing is like, after the know better, and that's what, what's about, how many years ago? No better. No better, that was like, oh, 18. Oh, wait. Oh, so, okay, that's what, six years ago, right? At that time, like, what was, what was, what was your thoughts? Did you think, like, music was for you? Or was it just like, you just rap? Um, at that point is when I started to take it seriously, just before that, not from that song, because obviously after that song dropped, I was in jail within, like, a week or something. Oh, was that close? But, yeah, that close. But like, wait. So let me just tell you. So if you if that didn't happen, I think your run would have been. Yeah. Well, like, you know that. Was, yeah, yeah. There was there was deals on the table. Yeah, there was a lot of things on the table. I missed a lot of shows. I missed a lot like a lot of festivals and stuff like that because I wasn't there. But like, I can't like categorically say that. Yeah, if I didn't, this would have happened. So we we'll just we take it. I only take it how it is. You know what I'm saying? But end of 017, that's when it became a career rather than just a hobby. You know what I'm saying? I thought like, cool, I'm making money from this now. I'm getting a bit of traction now. I could actually run this, you know what I'm saying? Rather than it just being a hobby. 
I know you, like, I feel I know you personally, and you're very much hands on you, like, you get things done. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever at all feel like you're, you're being overlooked by people within the industry in terms of like what you offer to the game? Um. Yeah, 100%. But then I feel like that's like a, like a hole I don't want to get into, you know what I'm saying? Because you know when people like compare themselves to other people or look at other people's situations or whatever, and then you start like, if whether you want to or not subconsciously, you got like a resentment or whatever. And it's like, instead of just working and waiting for your time, you spend time, energy, focusing on what's not happening for you at the time, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm gonna, oh, there's a couple of things I got to talk about, but I actually wanna talk about your project. I listened to it. Yeah. Probably when this is out, people may not have heard it, but it's like, it's a very mature project yeah. to me. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Um, what was actually, and I know you wanted to release this last year, but what was your thinking when you was making uh, Fresh Prince or Tottenham? Tottenham, yeah. yeah. For me, like, that tape for me was like therapy, innit? Like, at the time of when I started recording the tape, I was just going through things in my personal life, just like growth. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I know where I want to be and who I want to be, but within myself, I'm not there yet. So like, I'm battling, like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm like trying to, I don't want to be involved in certain things that I was involved in before, but I still am. But so it's like, it was a battle, like, and, just, and I didn't know how to deal with that myself apart from write about it and speak about it in my music, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, like you said, I turned 30 and that. So it's like, cool, like, am I gonna be 35 making the same music I was making when I was whatever, like, no better times, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like there needs to be growth in people's music, do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I wanted to do that as well. And yeah, man, I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk. I wasn't even going into the studio saying, yo, I want to make a banger today. I want to make this tune today. I want to make this tune that's going to go crazy on the, on, on, on the radio. Like, I went there, like, just however I felt on the day, that's what I was going for. Because there's probably about that, it's like five to six tracks where it's like, you're really, like that whole dichotomy of, um, it's not one foot in, one foot out of like, like this thing's actually about growing it, yeah, yeah. but I still am who I am. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I, and I do wonder, bro, like, do you ever have a chance? Like, does the sex have to be so big for it's like, like everything's in place where I can just be RV and everything's patterned where I don't have to worry about certain things because, you, bro, you still got to move a certain way. Yeah, no, until, it, until you're clear gone. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, does it have to yeah, get to that bro, point? Bro, like, do you know what? I feel like it's a catch-22 situation, yeah? Because mm. like, obviously when a tape comes out, you hear the intro and that, it's like... You tease the intro on yeah, the Yeah, it's like, I don't want to be famous. You know what I'm saying? But then I want to be successful in my career. So it's like, it's, just, it's, a, it's a battle. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to do the best I can, obviously. I've got people that I support, like, people that rely on me, I got plans for my future and that. It's like, in order, cause this is what I do at the moment, music, do you know what I'm saying? So I need to get as far as I can in my career in order to do those things. But then the fame comes with that, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, like how I want to move, I want to be able to move like a normal person. Like sometimes I'm, on, I'm in the car and I'm looking and I just see people standing at the side of the road or outside a pub. Well, like when the sun, summer's out, people are sitting down, like eating outdoors. I'm thinking, that's bait. I can never do that. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't go here. I can't go. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I have, like, inside me, I just really want to be a normal person. I want to live a normal life. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I want the, the money that comes with the music and all the good stuff. But I guess I, you just got to take the good with the bad. But really and truly, I just want to be, let's live a, be able to live a normal life, like, blend in. I wonder to that part, like, and I've seen it with a lot of artists, bro. Like, you know me, I don't like that show on my face, innit? But it, it's never to the extent of an artist, bro. But yeah. it must affect other things. So, like, you probably may, we, we probably will never see RV post a picture with maybe his mum or his, like, there's certain things you're going to keep 
You know, you just see people just doing like normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah no, I literally. I can't, I can't I feel like it. I've never posted a picture of my son on my socials, like bait face. You know what I'm saying? I would like to be able to, not for any reason, just like, like if I want to take, yeah, with my son, I'll take a picture and post it, like, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, but it's like, it's, it's weird because, like, coming from that life that I was coming from, I have to move a certain way for that reason. And then I have to move a certain way for, because of my career as well. So, like, putting them together, it's long, do you know what I'm saying? So even if I wasn't famous, I still have the problem from the roads. Do you know what I'm saying? And even if I leave the roads behind or whatever, whatever, I still got the problem from being I know, whatever. Is it? But I didn't even clock it like that because like, I just listen to part of that like, just from the music. But yeah, which which part do you find harder to deal with though? Um, do you know what? Like the music thing is not too bad. It's not too bad. It's a thing where it's like. Yeah, the people are weird, but it's love, though. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you see fans or supporters, whatever, they might bother you and you just don't, don't want to be bothered, or, like, you might just be trying to blend in, and they're like, yeah, they'll flame it and make it bait, whatever. And that might be a bit annoying, but it's love at the end of the day. The other stuff, it can go way left. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's a bigger worry. Like, I'm, like I would rather think about, like, cool, if I go here... Something might happen. I might end. Something might happen to me, or I might end up back in jail if I bump into certain people. But whereas if I go to a certain place, I might be like, "Cool. If I go here, I'm gonna get harassed, or I'm not gonna be have like privacy." But still, like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking. How do you deal with that? The, the people behind the scenes, like the people. When I say weird, I mean or like there's a lot of. Like it could be publicists, it could be labels, it could be pluggers. Like people who just don't sometimes show the acu- adequate respect that you think you deserve, just on a on a normal level. Like in terms of like, just how you like, you know, like what, probably like just sometimes people just trying to like mock it because yeah. of the position they got. Yeah. That's the part onto one. Like how do you deal with that part? Because on the roads, it's very easy. Like yeah, yeah, you that's can't, literally you can't, you can't talk to me like that. that literally from the day from day one, that's been something that I've had a problem with. Because it's like, certain times I feel like people are taking a piss. Like, I thought to just turn up to the label and strangle them. <laughs> you know, you can't do that, but you know what I'm saying? And it's like, on the roads, certain people wouldn't, they wouldn't move like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, not being able to do that is what bothers me. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, right, I'm trying to beat industry, I'm trying to cut through, I'm trying to do, 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 but it's like, like, help me. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't violate so I can stay on this path. But if you violate, I'm going to relapse. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm trying to play, play it straight. You're doing your funny stuff. Now, nah, like, it's creating a problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro, I mean, there's never a need. I don't feel like there's ever a need either. I think, bro, like, this is the other thing I was going to say, bro. When I listened to the project, yeah, I was like, is RV's core audience Gonna, are they gonna grow at the same time he's growing? That's what I was listening to. I was like, because I, I told you so. When I listened, to it, I said, yeah, I, I hear everything you're saying. Uh, do you think there's almost not a departure, but can your fan base follow you through, or do you have to pick up new fans? Um, do you know what though? I feel like I've said this before. I feel like I've got two different types of fans. I've got the fans that knew me from 2010, 11, 12, when I was young RV and I was rapping like the UK rap stuff. Then I got the fans that know me from RV from 2017, 2019, drill. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like those ones there, they always want the drill stuff, the crud stuff or whatever. But then the other people want me to get back into my rap bag, which I have done on this, on this project. And I feel like, I was talking to my manager about this, I think it was yesterday, the day before. It's like, everybody's growing up. Like you said, no better was six years ago. So people that were, 16 at that time, or like 22 now, do you know what I'm saying? So like they're not little kids anymore. So naturally, I feel like, yeah, they might not be, because I feel like I'm older than a lot of people, like I'm older than like the bandos and the whatever. So it's like, naturally my fan base are naturally a bit older, innit? So I feel like I might not be able to tap in to the younger lot as much, because they can't, like, they've got a few more years to live and, and experience certain things till they get to where I'm at and to hear what I'm saying. But 
I feel like they, you can still take in the music, you know what I'm saying? There is stuff for them on that project, but then it's like, I feel like I've had loads of messages, people saying, like, yeah, I've listened to you through this time, I've listened to you since this time, and do do. And it's like, not that I feel like I'm a role model or anything, but I feel like people should be honest with themselves in the music, and they should be honest with the people that are listening as well. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you yourself thinking, ah, oh, fuck the ends, I'm trying to get out of the ends or whatever, just be honest. Yeah, Say that. Yeah. Let the people know. Let the people know that it gets to a point where you need to get out of the ends. You can't just be saying, yo, I'm a gangster, 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 gangster. I'm on crud, crud, crud forever. If that's not you, like, be honest. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's all. I think you kind of alluded to it. I think before you said, like, I think when you was making a the project, there was, like, personal things were happening and it's kind of like, this is kind of the person I want to be or where I want to be, but who is, what is it? Is it just, like, normality? Like, who, who are you trying to be or what are you trying to develop into? I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... how I grew up and certain lifestyle choices that I made and whatever, yeah, just made me be a certain way, innit? It made me move a certain way, and it's just like... The question you just asked me before about people moving funny and wanting to strangle people, is like, that's me and how I would like to act, yeah? Off the rip, innit? But I know that's not how normal people or everybody else would act or how you should act, do you know what I'm saying? So. I'm trying to like find a balance between still being myself and not conforming to being like, cool, I have to be this person to be in this, this space. But then obviously like getting older and growing and realizing like bad traits that you might have and trying to like get rid of them or stop them, you know what I'm saying? But I think also when you say that's not how normal people act, but normal people don't live or grow up how most of the men them yeah. grow up. But also you can't, I feel like everybody should progress mm -hmm. and grow and whatever. I can't be the same person when I'm 35 as I was when I was 15. Yeah. I can't be reacting the same way, having the same behaviours and stuff like that, do you know what I'm saying? So something has to change. So, yeah, I feel like that's where I'm at now, trying to see where what I can change and what is just in me. Because there's certain times, you know, I've tried to move a certain way because I feel like how I was moving wasn't right. But then the new way from the outside and other people be like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. But then it doesn't sit right with me. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like... Yeah, more accepting of things that you don't. Yeah, it's like, like cool. Like, oh, for example, people be like, oh, you're 30 and you're still on the roads and duh, 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 and people look at you like you're an idiot. But then it's like, like cool, if something happens, everyone will be like, oh, just let it go, it's not worth it. And then I'll be like, oh, cool, yeah, let it go, it's not worth it. But then at night I'll be thinking about it and it's bothering me. So I'm like, why am I letting, am I letting it go? Because that's what I want to do. Or I feel like that's what everybody else is saying that I should be doing. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's another battle. Do you know what I'm saying? Because then how I want to act, I might end up back in jail. Yeah. Then it's, it's long, but then it's like, oh, cool, I can't do that. So, yeah. And then also, bro, I look at it like, bro, as you said, bro, like you're a rapper, innit? So if it, if it wasn't even that, bro, there's still just people just talking. Mm -hmm. But I do find that you have like a funny personality on Twitter, though, but like you, you be tweeting some things, I think you're Harvey. You, you, you. <laughs> bro, you just got to be yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be yourself. Yeah. Bro, all right, cool. So with the... So what... Okay, so what is... I won't say what's stopping it. If this is what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go or how you're trying to be, then what have you identified or what's kind of like slowing that progress or making it more difficult to achieve? Um, I'd say like time, one, it takes time. You know what I'm saying? You can't just wake up saying, yo, I'm different today. Yeah. Two, it's like, you got to change a lot of things in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you might say, I, this is the person I want to be. And then like the people that you're hanging around with might be stopping you from being that person or the places that you go, the things that you do, the things that you're into, do you know what I'm saying? For example, I don't know, generally, yardie raves, there's problems in the yardie raves, isn't it? You might be trying to stay out of trouble, but then you like raving. So like, 
you have to say to yourself, right, do you know what? I'm, I'm trying to avoid any draw routes. I can't go yardy raves, isn't it? It's not in my best interest to go there, for example. But then it's like, now you might be gaining something or on your way to being the person you want to be, but then you're still missing that. So he's like, you need to leave that behind. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you could, like, it's hard. Like, even it, like a back, referring back to the intro, I, I was like, do I really love Uptown or do I miss the end thing? You know, like, people say, like, oh, like, you're making money now or you're doing your thing. Like, why are you in the ends or why did it do? Why did it do? It's like, bro, like, that's what you grew up on. That's what you know or whatever. It's hard to just wake up one day and say, do you know what? I'm out of here. Even though that is, should be everybody's goal to get out of the hood, but it's, do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like picking up, packing your bags and just moving to another country. Do you know what I'm saying? You're going to miss home. So what? Do, so have you identified what it is that you actually, I know you say you're kind of in between, but have you determined like, are oh, you Mr. Uptown? Is it, it was it every night? It could change. Um, do you know what that? Because no, actually, let me, wait, let me tell you why I said this. When I bumped into you on your birthday, and you told me where you were traveling to, I was like, why in the world are you going to, what was yeah, it, yeah. where did you go? Poland. Poland, <laughs> and I was like, what are you gonna go do there? And I remember you like saying like, like I think you just wanna explore or track. Yeah, do you know what it is? Like, with Poland, yeah, I wanted to go there because I wanted to do something that I wouldn't normally do. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody goes on holiday, all right, let's go to Dubai. Yeah. Let's go to Jamaica, let's go to whatever. Even when I was in, you're not the only person. When I was there, everybody saying, like, what are you doing over there? But then it's like, cool. Man wanted to go and ride a snowmobile in the mountain or get the Huskies to drive me around. It's not something that, do you know what I'm saying? There's more to life. There's always more to life. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, cool. Man could have went to Dubai or whatever, but I would have been doing the same thing in Dubai that I do over here. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, obviously, if you had to choose between ends or uptown, you've got Uptown every time. But then it's easy to get bored of Uptown. And it's like, for example, we're talking about the raves. Getting to tape or getting to a Yardie rave is getting off more in the Yardie rave. It's going to, like, there's certain things in the hood that you just can't beat. Do you know what I'm saying? The culture, like, just the atmosphere and that. But at, at, it's the hood at the end of the day. So you go Uptown, you might see it nicer things and whatever, but it does lack certain things as well, do you know what I'm saying? Well, being an artist though, like, um, like you're saying, you are an artist, it still has that financial pressures because you have to be, you can make money, there's making money, and then there's also, is the money I'm making enough for what I want out of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you reconcile with like, trying to make music to get to that point? Or I've seen you doing amazing work with G'd Up, like you're wearing the product now, like, yeah. even the RV brand is almost like it's expanding into other things, but, you know, on a on an honest level, how difficult is it for people to try and navigate making money to match their lifestyle and music? Um, it all depends on what you want as a person. And I feel like that comes with growth as well. So it's like there's certain people out there now that are trying to get to the position I am or even further or whatever, that they're looking at it and they're like, yo, when I'm lit, I'm buying a chain, I'm buying a watch, I'm buying everything that I, I see people with that I want that I couldn't afford before, but there's other people that are still trying to get into that position and saying like, yo, I just want to move my mom out the hood. I just want to, I've never been on holiday. I want to go on holiday or I want to buy a house. Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it all depends on what you want as a person. Do you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, some people make more money, got nothing to show for it. Some people got less money, but they've patterned up. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you see them fucking, them tweets or whatever, oh, it's not about how much money you make, it's about money management. And obviously, just if you take that quote, you see it's air. But if you actually like dive into it, like it's true still. When, I mean, I mean, I've seen you, ha did you have that? You've, I've seen you some chains still. Do you, now do you see, think you're a splurger? Like if you did a, done a crazy deal, would you be doing the rapper? Nah. Okay. No, because I feel like I feel like once you start that, you can't stop. Yeah. People from the outside looking in, like, yo, how comes one day he's buying Bear LV 
now he's in night tech. Like, what? Is this thing popped down now? But if you never started it, yeah. you can't be held accountable. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I know what I want to do and what, and like, not the value of money, but how money can be spread. Do you know what I'm saying? So I can, 50 rats go and buy a rollie, or that 50 rats, I could do something mad with that, you know what I'm saying? And make that, do you know what I'm saying? Pattern up, make that double, rather than if I just go and buy a rollie, depending on what roll it is, it's just a, like, let's say chain, for example, like a bust down Cuban 50, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather make that 50 stretch and do something else with it that's going to benefit me more in the long run than just saying, yeah, boom, I'm a rapper, look, look at my chain. So, yeah. You talk to the youngers about that, though. I don't. The reason why I don't is because I've been there. And nobody couldn't have told me nothing. And I feel like, I also feel like everyone's got the time to do that everybody thing. Everybody needs to have that time to say, ah, right, cool, do you know what? I did that. Yeah. Some people might do it first and then clock on later and be like, do you know what? Forget all of that. Some people might pattern up first and be like, cool, I've patterned everything I need to pattern now. Let me go and buy a chain. Do you know what I'm saying? It depends. But everybody's gonna have their time, innit? But I can't say like, yo, yeah, a man just got to check hundred bags. Don't go and buy no designer, don't go and buy whatever, like, who, who am I to say that, do you know what I'm saying? And what they want from life could be different for me, do you know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can only speak for myself. I can say, yo, I did this, I wish I didn't do this, duh, 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 and then you take what you want to take from that, you know what I'm saying? I can't be like, yo, don't spend the, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? No, I, and I agree with you, bro, but there's a part, I was, I was reading something the other day, and I think, what's quite sad within our cultural space, maybe just a societal, that we actually don't want to, we actually don't learn too much from other people's expect yeah. mistakes. It's almost like we just, we want to experience the perceived litness and then everyone almost indefinitely comes back to the same conclusion yeah, yeah, yeah. as the man before him. Like, Cause bro, I, bro, we know rappers, bro. They buy a chain after a year, bro, you can't still be wearing that chain. You buy a watch, you gotta get a next one. Like, and it's not sustainable. The man I'm looking for, like, bro, what, like, what happened, bro? Exactly that. Everyone, everyone comes to that conclusion, and then, bro, we know when it's like, if you get like a customized piece, bro, you can't make no money from that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, I always wonder what's the part within our cultural makeup why we just think, do you know what? That's not a smart thing to do. I want to be but smart. Do you know what though? I feel like it depends what you're into as well. If your thing is jewelry, people like people are into jewelry. So now you're making money, and actually you're gonna buy jewelry. Some people don't care about jewellery and they're only into cars, so they just buy cars. Some people are into clothes, some people are into this, that, whatever. So it depends what you're into. Like, if that's your thing, like, you have, to live, you have to live a little, man. You have to live, you know what I'm saying? So if my thing is like, yo, I like watches and I'm starting making money, I'm going to buy so watches. What, so what, what's your, what is your thing then? Um, my thing was trainers still. Oh, you kicked? Yeah, just kicks, like hundreds of kicks and that, like trainers and it's like like you said there was a time where I was buying a Mary's trainers and tracksuits it was like buying like Mary's buying bare designers things and that because of the rapper lifestyle and xyz but then I sat down and thought like bro this is not me bro when I remember times when I was happy with just an Air Force and a Nike do you know what I'm saying so like I feel like I was doing certain things here yeah, because of the mode I was in and the the career and do you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, bro, I feel happiest right now. My G'd up tracky, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I could have put on a jeans, could have put on a flares, could have put on a designer, you know what I'm saying? I come out here, but I'm like, bro, this is me. When, when did, what made you snap out of it though? Um, it's like, I'm going to get like, the fun of it ran out. So I'd be like, cool. I'd be like to the man, what's the man I want today? What, selfages? Like, I'm gassed, like, yeah, fun. Selfages, you're in selfages, fun. You buy the clothes, fun. You wear the clothes, fun. Then after that, done. But then it's like, cool. I just did three, four reps on that outfit. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, the fun doesn't add up to the cost, to the cost when you look back at it. Because you can't be wearing Cause it. Yeah, it, 10 outfits now, 30 racks. Right, cool, 30 racks. Maybe, maybe like a 5% depot. Yeah. 
You don't even wear those clothes no more. Yeah. But you could have been in your yard now. That's just a, like a random example. Like, I'll say, but even with that, though, you need, you need to be in a place where that, wearing that drip makes sense. Like, you have to travel, you have to go to Hacker, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. another cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing, you're running your errands in your, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's mental, man. And then also, bro, like, this project, how long did it take you to make? Um, I don't know. I couldn't give you a straightforward answer, yeah, because I was recording two projects at the same time. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like I was at the time when I started it, yeah. I knew the theme I wanted to go for, obviously, because how I was feeling at the time. But then I didn't know how I was gonna put it into a project. So that's why I asked. I asked the fans, should I do Fresh Prince of Tottenham two or Rico Vondel two? Because Rico Vondel is just like. I would say, me now. So when I dropped in 2021, Rico Vondo, part one, that tape was who I was in 2021. Rico Vondo 2 now, it wouldn't necessarily be a part two to the first tape, it would just be how I am in 2023 or 2024, do you know what I'm saying? But then everybody voted for Freshman to Tottenham 2, so then I had to go back to that. Like I listened to the whole tape, the types of tunes, the music, and obviously, where I was at that time. And yeah, certain tunes I've, I've recorded while I was recording this tape didn't fit the tape. So I've saved them. Like I've got other songs in it. So I couldn't tell you how long it took me to record the whole thing. But, um, but I feel like, but there is, I, I don't know, like you know yourself better than I would, bro, but I feel like there's some songs in there that probably still speak to that could have fitted on the, the other project, like in terms of like, what wait, wait. What project? Oh, the other one. Yeah, because like the same thing was like, it's, it's like, it's, when I'm hearing it, it's like, okay, cool, this is where I'm at mentally. Yeah. Sonically, maybe different, because yeah. I know musically, you're going to go into yeah. experimental different sounds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I think like, mindset wise, I think I, could, I can gather some. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%, because it's like, like I was saying to you about like being honest, and it's like, all right, cool. If I'm on the roads all the time, and that's me, that's my life, yeah? I'm not gonna be rapping about private jets and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Or if like, I'm in a place where like, I'm, I've had a bad year and I'm angry or I've been sad this year, I'm not gonna be making happy-go-lucky music. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, naturally, with the personal growth I was going through and things I was, I was dealing with myself, any type of music I made, when I'm writing, some of that would have came into the music naturally. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Bro, how, how do you reflect on, um, we're just in the first month of the new year, but how do you reflect on 2023 for you? Um, I feel like it was a good year for myself like mentally and emotionally i kind of neglected myself physically you know what i'm saying like you had an injury though as yeah, well no, but that's what i'm saying i had a knee injury i was meant yeah. to be doing physio i wasn't doing physio like yeah but emotionally like physically and i mean emotionally and mentally it was a good year i didn't drop much music but i felt like in order for me huh? um the main reason was, like, I was working, don't get me wrong, I was working for the whole year, but I just wasn't releasing, and I felt like, I'm a type of person, is when I'm ready to go, I'm going, like, all breaks. I remember people be like, yeah, Harvey's work great, Harvey's work great, Harvey. but that's the mode I was in. Where I've been in a different mode and just trying to be not RV for a second and just deal with me, I feel like that was my main focus, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I didn't want to be, I could have just went into the studio for a month and just smashed out a tape and released it. But I didn't want to do that, do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not even gonna lie, last year I was deciding if I even wanted to rap anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, one was the um, not wanted to be famous thing, yeah? And it's like, the industry, remember the conversation I had the other day and I feel like the music is only 20% yeah. of the whatever. I feel like the fun was taken out of it and it's like, I used to enjoy making music and releasing music. Now, 
I just enjoy the making music. Like I'm happy to go studio, make write, write a song, make a song, and just send it out to my brethren and whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was thinking, do I actually want to rap? Like I do want to rap, but then it was like everything else. I don't want other things to stop me from doing something that I actually love or enjoy doing. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, thinking about the future and stuff. This is my bread and butter. Do you know what I'm saying? So I have to, I have to do, have it. to do it. So yeah. like, but then I was thinking, fuck that, man. Like, why am I being forced to do something as well? Like, that was another battle. So it's like, do you know what I'm saying? It kind of music kind of got pushed to the side, but I feel like I needed that year to happen. However, it did pan out, because how I'm ready to start this year, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I feel you on that, because bro, there's times I'm like, if there's something else, bro, yeah. that can divvy up the funds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I'll probably say, you know, like, like fuck this whole it thing. Is, it is wrong still. It's long, it is bro. wrong still. But then it's like, even when I was thinking, what else could I do? I can't get a job. I'm bait now. Like, I can't get a job. Um, I ain't got no work experience. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, anything that I thought I wanted to do, on the level I wanted to do it, it takes capital, which means... I'm still gonna have to rap to make the, the capital to do something else anyway. And it's like, if I'm gonna keep rapping, I might as well just, just do that, you know what I'm saying? And then obviously I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be like Jay-Z and be rapping in my 40s, 50s and that, but like naturally everybody should have a, like a get out plan or whatever, but it's like, yeah, man. Uh, bro, this one, this one makes it sound simple. So you feel free, free to swerve it, yeah? Again, feel free to swerve it. Have been in a relationship as a rapper, bro, I've always wondered, bro, how on earth does it work out? Like, in terms of, like, you want to go out with your missus or you just want to do normal life, yeah? Does the person you're with have to be very much understanding of, like, listen, like, you see where I live or whatever, like, you don't, like, don't take no pic. Like, how does it work? Like, what's the checklist of how does that... Um, it's weird, because in a relationship, it's two people, isn't it? Yeah. So, naturally... Like you said, you, your partner has to be understanding and that, but then it works both ways. Yeah. Like, you can't just say to somebody, like, yo, listen, I'm a rapper, I'm an ex-gang member, so this is my life, this is how things go, and you have to be good with it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like... Yeah, like you saying, like like I said, I want to be a civilian, live a normal life. Like, I don't want to have to go on a date with my girl and bring the man with me. I haven't personally, but that was just by personal choice. I know a lot of people that do do that, and yeah. I understand why. I feel they do that. But it's like, yeah, 100%. You have a goal with the man where you go with security or whatever, but either way, yeah. however it is, it's meant to be just you and your partner. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to be gang, like, right, cool, if my girl wants to go here. I don't want to tell her, like, yo, no, I can't go there, like, it's bait, like, I can't go here, it's bait, or I can't do this, it's bait, or duh, duh, like, because then it's like, you've got to give back in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? You can't expect somebody to just accept everything and change everything, and, like, what, what if some, it's somewhere where she really wants to go, something she really wants to do, I can't just be like, no, nah, I'm a rapper, you can't, like, you got to compromise, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, the compromise could be a draw out. But what can you do? Do you know what I'm saying? Because either way, Saturn is gonna you're gonna lose out in some way, like do you know what I'm saying? Does that part play a toll in a on a relationship though? Yeah, no, hundred percent. It's 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 like it's not easy. You know where like it could be easy, it's not easy. So then it's like I wanna say it creates a problem, but it's something that you have to work together to work through. It sounds like it must be, bro, I think it sounds like it's almost like a bit of frustration, like, because it's a normal thing, but it's a little thing, it is a little thing, but a little thing is big to me, you know, like, you can't, like, you know, that person, you probably shouldn't talk to them because you don't know that last week, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So yeah, I just, I, and I think it must also be the frustration of like, you, like you say, just being normal. Normal things shouldn't be, this shouldn't be a problem in the normal world, but it's highlighting that things ain't really normal for me, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's that, that's but that's a, that's that's exactly what it is. Like things ain't normal, and I just want it to be normal. Do you know what I'm saying? 
you want to be able to spend time with your girl. People ain't coming up to you, interrupting you. People ain't trying to take, like, you might want to have a private life. People coming up to you, taking pictures, both of you and that, like, do you know what I'm saying? Girl might just want to go for a walk down, I don't know, Camden Market. Then it's like, cool, nah, it's too late, or duh, duh, I can't even do, do, you know what I'm saying? But you learn to adapt, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, depending how you, people, two people feel about each other, you, you can make it work. So when you said, okay, so you said that the year was personal, like, or you're putting yourself kind of like more to the forefront. So it's 2024, we're looking at like, like, cause some work's been done in 2023, now 2024 is gonna be like more, like trying to push the music. Cause I think, you, you yeah. know, are you gonna try and drop twice this year? Um, What's the plan? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Twice this year, I don't know. I might drop a tape and singles. I might drop two tapes. I've got the music there. Yeah. It, it all depends on like how the music's taken in. Like it might be a tape and an EP. I don't, I'm not sure, but like I'm definitely back this year. Like I feel like last year I dropped Inconspicuous in February and then dropped nothing else for the rest of the year. Like, I'm not gonna do that again this time around. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like regardless of what's going on in your personal life, you still have to work. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to come and save you. If I don't do it, I, I pop down. And if I pop down, my son pops down, other people around me pop down, you know what I'm saying? So I can't physically pop down. So, yeah, but like I had my time to sort out whatever I need to sort out. Not that it's sorted, it's still ongoing, but it's like... You started to work, innit? Yeah. How do you feel about, like, um, like critics, people who have... Um, I don't know, people just... I say cultural commentators. Like, how do you feel about their input within the music industry? Because it seems like there's a lot of people who speak on stuff that people create and annoy. Do you know what? I just feel like the internet has just ruined a lot of things in life in general. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And it's like people get a platform for no reason. And people get a platform and then they forget that they have a platform. I do it too sometimes. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like if you've got a platform, you can't just say what you want to say. You can't, like, do you know what I'm saying? I've been in trouble for it before, or whatever, and it's just like, yeah. Opinions, opinions aren't really, what's the best way to say it? Do you respect those people though? Um, I respect that everybody has an opinion, yeah. but it's like, your opinion can't really st <laughs> yeah, your opinion can't stand for anything without the credentials to back it. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're Simon Cowell and you've got like this is your your your, your backlog of artists that you've signed or you whatever, then cool. But if I could drop a mixtape tomorrow, everybody's gonna have their opinion. If it gets millions of streams millions of people are going to have opinions. Not everybody's going to like it, so I'm cool, do do But, like, when people are talking, like, they, they can control, like, whether my mixtape's going to do good or not, whether they like it or not, that's when it's like, all right, cool, you need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, not everything needs to be said. So a lot of people have dropped music re recently that I'm a fan of, haven't liked the music. But I don't need to open up my Twitter app and be like, yeah, that album was shit. And my man fell off and da 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 Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, cool. Do you know what? I didn't like that. It went for me. I'll wait for him to drop something else or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, people let the clout from the internet get to their heads. And then they start trying to, like, do the most or do more to feed into that. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know how it goes. Yeah, bro. Uh, bro, closing though, bro, I think... Um... I probably asked this before, but what 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 be like some of the lessons you learned being in the music industry? Um, no one's coming to save you. Firstly, hard work beats talent, and just trust your gut because nobody really knows what they're doing, or nobody's got a formula of like, yo, if you do this, this is gonna be the outcome. So you just gotta just go with it still. How important, because I said, like, fatherhood is a big thing. And I was saying to you, like, off the camera, I was like, saying, yeah, you're spending time with your son. Like, how important is your son in your life and being, not, I won't say role model, but being just a father to him? I feel like, in terms of priority, he, at the top, like, he's at the top, like, 
he's he's one of the main reasons why I've wanted, I want to be a better person. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to grow and be like be a better role model. He's my inspiration in terms of where like yo, I need to make this work so I can provide a better life for him. And it's just like, yeah, man, I feel like I can get a fresh start of life from the beginning through him. Do you know what I'm saying? Not in a weird way, because I know there's certain parents that are like, I mean, certain weird, but it's like, yo, like, you know, like you say, oh, do, do I chat to the young G's and do, do, do? I can't, I'm not a role model for everybody and I can't chat to everybody, but I know like for my son, I could, be, I could do that and I could be that person, you know what I'm saying?